This is the most broken combo to date. And this is not an exaggeration either. Take a look at these games and you'll see for yourselves. Three pets, two manticores, one phoenix with a mushroom. It's over. It'll take an entire squad of 50-50s out all by itself. It's too strong, maybe. But check it out. It's an interesting build. Definitely unlike anything we've seen before. Man, they need to cut out this April Fool's joke on the wharf. Everyone knows it's supposed to be the warg. I don't know why we're pretending. Get some gnarly rings. Ew, if we had a groundhog, could have cooked that one real nice. Groundhog? No. Well done to you. Ditch this guy. We don't need him. Okay. Um, is this a swan angle? Probably not. I don't think I run Swan unless we get Cappy Bar out here. And that's not really happening. Go here. Maybe run it like this. You know, get a big big ant out here. Throwing a drop bear in the front. Well, soon to be front. Hey, they're getting some snipes out there. Without a doubt. Okay. Normally I don't want to level on turn four, but let's do it. Let's full send it. Roll me. Go with a little frost wolf action. It's a nice little combo with the frost wolf drop bear. They're pretty good together. Well, that is what I would have said if they actually were, but they're not. <laughs> How's this do? Almost there. Off by one health on that trade. The second to last trade would have had it. Okay, roll me. No ant. Would rather not. Let's do this. Grab a flea, capybara, maybe. We found two capybaras, so maybe that's reason enough to pivot here. We just got a lot of status effects and not a whole lot of anything meaningful. Okay. Well, we get there. I think our anteater's in a bad spot, isn't he? Yeah, he should not be there. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Ditch you, ditch you, double cappy, hold the lasagna. Take a flea. Roll me one more time. I don't like any of those. Dodo is very good. Over to you. We are gonna go dodo lasagna. Now that's the pivot that we needed. This may actually go well. <laughs> Somehow. We'll see though. See how it actually pans out. There you go. His team is susceptible to summons right now. A lot of attack, not too much health. Turtle would help with that though. Um, ditch the anteater. I don't want to double stack the turtle. No, it's fine. I'm gonna say we can roll into the turtle and get the stats, but kind of whatever. <laughs> Is kind of whatever. Okay. Fantastic. Feeding his his whale shark is not ideal, but aside from that, very good. Okay, 
Okay, we get a flea. Do we run an old mouse here? We could do old mouse and... I don't really have anything besides that. Holy moly. I think we're running old mouse here, y'all. Is this the old mouse game? Is this where it happens? Honestly, we're not too worried here. Fantastic. That one health from the shoe got it for us. That's hilarious. Okay, level you. I think it's about time we ditch the Cappy. Do we run a white tiger here? That's actually kind of good. So we buff you. You two get melons from the turtle. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Siberian Husky, not bad either. Okay, so we're gonna do some pivoting here for sure, but I think we're, I don't think it's gonna take too much of a drop when we pivot, if that makes sense. I don't think we're gonna take a whole hit in terms of power level. Let's go here, ditch the white tiger, go Husky. So oh, actually, hold on. We need to buy sell one more time. I think we do. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we did that. Almost missed out on our our two two on everybody. That would have been terrible. Okay. Definitely want to keep the flea around. Might as well give you a little love. And everybody gets one one. Oh baby. Looking good. Okay. We get there. We get there. That's awesome. Okay. Bird of Paradise. No thanks. Don't need him. Moose is actually very good here. Hold on. This, this feels like a moose angle for sure. No, no. Can't freeze you. <laughs> Alright. I would have said it's a moose angle if we'd got even anything remotely good. Okay, we can buy some friends. We all love buying some friends. They say money can't buy friends. Crazy. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to sell if we're gonna if we're gonna get this to trigger. Okay, now we're primed, we get whoever we want. Scorp's a pretty good option. Maybe do that in Cornucopia. Soft ice will not trigger. Or sorry, pretzel will not trigger. Soft ice will. Might as well do this. Is this enough scaling? I'm not sure it is. We're getting roughly 3-3 three, three per turn. On four guys. Okay. There's a lot going on there. It didn't end well for us. Okay, ooh, we get a level up. I wonder if you sell Questing Beast. Does it, like, as the mirror flips over, would that work? You know, if I bought and sold right now, how would that, how would that pan out? Not sure. Okay, looks like we're just gonna do an ordinary buy-sell. Throwing a mammoth for fun. Yeah, I'm not loving how this team is turning out. I'll just be straight up. It's not even like it's a bad team. It's just like, <laughs> there's not a whole lot making it good, you know, if that makes any sense. Maybe Manticore. 
Manticore Phoenix is very good. We do that. That'll be like our our little trump card of sorts. And we definitely need to get you cooking up a little bit here. Okay, lock of hair we can do. Maybe find a bunch of chocolates or something, you know. Okay. How do we lose that? <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Um, so we need Phoenix level 2 for sure. Let's give you a pepper. Get you a cupcake maybe? Ooh, okay, hold on. I think I, we could dodo. I think I want to get this cooking. Okay, so you're out of range-ish from the Phoenix. At least for one of the triggers. This is like, turn into like some weird ailment squad over here. How the heck are, is our Phoenix luck so poor? What on earth is going on? Okay. I feel like we're getting pranked out here. <laughs> you know? Um, okay. Surely this goes well, right? Right? Okay, we took him out in one hit. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay, that's what we were picturing happening. <laughs> that's, that's much better. Alright, give me a level. We've kind of ignored the old mouse. We're going for a Phoenix Manticore build now. And honestly, in that vein, like his... Is a white tiger better than the old mouse here? I think it might be. Like what if we do this? This feels very risky. Like, I'm not sure if this is actually a good play, but... Only one way to know. And that's to try it. Okay, that's fine. Twenty-four damage, Jesus. And we draw. Okay. This I still can't tell if it's good or not. Alright, new plan. <laughs> this is going off the rails so fast. Um, I guess we don't care about you. Alright, Cornucopia, what do you got for us? What's the winning move? Surely it's not popcorn. <laughs> oh, I didn't even click it. <laughs> what the crap? I swear I didn't click popcorn. Whatever. I clicked like up here. And then it's like, yeah, it's close enough. Full send. Okay, two good hits. Oh, baby, this team is actually kind of cracked. Hold on. <laughs> level 3 Manticore with level 3 Phoenix goes hard. Okay. Might have to try that one a little bit more, too. I'm just going to say it. I don't think I like the Groundhog very much this weekly. It'll be some Miffed Monks. It just doesn't seem like, you know, it doesn't seem like it's doing that much for us. In my experience, we'll say, I have very rarely seen it make a difference. Do it like this. And then... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll just run it like this. We get it level up next turn. Okay, good stuff. Not the one we wanted to hit, unfortunately. 
What do we got? Something good. Fantastic tier three incoming. Honestly, I kind of like puppy here. Um, there's no way to faint mandrill in shop, so we can't do any shenanigans there. Otherwise, I would love to. Roll me. It's like, do we ever ditch the tamarind for an ant? <laughs> Probably not, but like, it's tempting. It definitely is. Sea turtle, like maybe. There's just no like attack buffs on any, on your summons, so it's kind of hard to justify the sea turtle. I think we ditch it. Say thanks, but no thanks. We're good on our own. Good, good. Oh baby, we're in it. We're doing it. They're offering so many crickets, but I just simply do not want any. Level you. Straight up, let's do this. Get a little cappy going. Ditch you. Throw in a drop bear. Don't care about the wharf. I wonder if Teamwood is going to change the warg ability. Or the warg name. I kind of figured they would by now, but they haven't. I figured it was like, oh, somebody typoed and then fix it up kind of idea, but no. Not quite. Alright, start me here. Let's grab the anteater. Grab two anteaters. The dodo seems pretty good. I think we could do this. Another cappy, sure, sure. Maybe we don't freeze the dodo. We want to roll into a dodo, right? Because we have two cappy bars now. Maybe we do something like this. This team feels strong. I think we can do something interesting here. Yeah, well, interesting is drawing, I guess, but... Um, okay, roll me. Yeah, I'm fine cooking up a drop bear here. I mean, the ox is hard to say no to. At 5-5 five, five stat line. Another cappy, hold on. We ditch you. This is the limit to cappies, though. We're not going any crazier here. Roll me. See, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. There's these quality units here that their only downside is their stat line. Well, fix the stat line and then you're good to go. And we draw again. When did we get three wins? I feel like we haven't won anything, <laughs> but I mean, I'll take it. Um, roll me. All right, this is our team. And we could get a level there, but I actually don't really care for one. Primarily because they're not going to get all the capybara buffs on the on whatever we get the level up into. Like, what's the point? Okay. How does this guy handle? Very well. The pivot. Love to see it. Alright, give me a level. Moose is pretty tempting here. Mosasaurus, if we can find an old mouse, would be awesome. But I don't know if that's going to happen. What if we ditch the anteater? Throw in a moose. Not like hard committing necessarily, but, you know, just kind of hold on to him. There's an old mouse if we want it. We want it. 
Grab an old mouse in place of what? Whale shark, maybe? Sure. Let's try it. Let me get some moose scaling going. Got the food item. Food item is fun. I don't know if it's good, but it's fun. I'd say it's good in, in other weeklies where you can like get discounted foods and all that. Or generating foods even, but yeah, this one, <laughs> maybe not so much. All right, give you a pepper. So we're basically hard committing now. We're not running huskies. Let's go here. Let's go here, actually. Roll me one more time. Oh, baby. I love it. Okay. This is solid. I like this a lot. Come on, good toy. What do we got? Ooh, we have a jump now. This is the perfect old mouse team. <laughs> so now that toy isn't completely useless anymore. That's why we're keeping the drop bear. <laughs> okay, we go here. So now we don't really have any toy to work on because we got lucky and got one in battle. But let's just, let's try to find some levels. See we can do here. Um, you know, I'll actually do this. I think one override potential is worth it. Ooh, 12 gold. It might be a little tricky, actually. Fantastic. Love to see it. Dude, we haven't lost any hearts yet. Look at that. Yeah, so if our swan was level 2, we could do it. But now we'd have to buy sell. I don't really want to buy sell anyone. We could buy sell the moose, I guess, if we need to. Is this it? <laughs> Is this the team? Hold on. Is this how it's happening? Okay. This is meant to be. Start here. We will get some levels on the the sloth. Alright, this is getting intense now. We should probably throw in a Mosasaurus here. But who do we switch him out for? It would have been in this position. And obviously we're not getting rid of you. He believes in us. All right, well, full send. Let's see if we can carry it through. Um, this combo here, maybe. We can pivot if we need to. Three friends bought, okay. It was not super easy to get, but we can probably make it happen. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, it's starting. Alright, I think we pivot to this combo. It's much stronger. We ditch you. Manticore Phoenix combo. Incoming. So now we just need levels here and we need mushrooms. Don't think we care about a swan here. We need manticores, we need phoenixes. And mushrooms. Okay. I am very upset. How does that happen? <laughs> Ridiculous. Not a single one of his burns hit his own guys. Which would have won us it, by the way, if it did. Okay, that's fine. We're not we're not tilting. <laughs> we're good, we can handle it. No Manticore, no Phoenix. There's a Phoenix. Hold on to the chocolate. Ooh. 
Oh, the summon gets us. Okay. Roll me. I need to get a Manticore here. There's too many Phoenixes. Um, you don't double stack Phoenix, right? That'd be ridiculous. Random pets, Chris, then summon a Phoenix. Okay. What if we run it like this? Maybe it's better to start with the Phoenix here. Okay, I don't think it's better to start with the Phoenix. Our scaling is not there. Come on, we gotta find the Manticore, we gotta find the Mushroom. That's the only thing holding us back right now. There's Manticore. Um, maybe we throw in another Phoenix here. If we can't double up on him, <laughs> maybe we just throw in an extra one. Call it a day. That's fine. We can handle that. We gotta find a mushroom, I think. No, maybe it's fine. I'm amazed that we haven't found any mushrooms yet, by the way. That's kind of insane. instant we pivoted the slot. We had our precarious, really strong team, but it needed that slot. It just didn't happen. It wasn't enough. And I, I genuinely think if we, if we didn't pivot to this, it would not have made it there. We didn't have the upward scaling potential required to four squad effectively. You hate to see it. I love me a double opossum here. Into an ant? Okay. I like it. Chunky soup. Pretty sure that was guaranteed tie, but maybe there could have been some weird mosquito switch up. <laughs> okay. Guess we're going big opossum. What if we do it like this? Like go huge opossum in the back. Oh baby, it's working. That was a little risky, I think. I don't know if that was the right play. Dude, there's a lot of opossums out here. <laughs> I mean, we already have level three. What the heck? Um, okay. Let's roll. I will level him next turn because I want to get a second cappy if possible. Fantastic ant luck. That'll do. That'll get us there. Another ant as well. We did not find another Cappy, but the puppy fits well, I think. Let's roll and just pick whoever's best here. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess technically you're the best. Though not by much. Run like this. Get the high, the high health guy in the back with the ant. Typically works out well. And then we're good. Taking the draws. Keeping the health total up. Love to see it. We could go wasp in preparation for oven mitts, maybe. Hopefully roll into a wasp as well. 
Did you throw in an anteater? We got swan potential. Roll me. Roll me one more time. Did not find it here. Let's go swan. It's tough. It's one of those like, I hate most of the pets here. <laughs> it's like, not many of them ever feel good to run. You gotta search a lot for a select few that are good. Freeze you. I want to try to find the... Ooh, that's good, actually. Um, we need to figure out who we're trading a possum for. Maybe Anteater would have been the play, huh? <laughs> Maybe. We could throw in a Frost Wolf. I like the Dodo, though. You know what? Maybe we're full sending the Cappy too much. Maybe we just do it like this. Of course, we instantly roll into a wasp. <laughs> As usual. Don't like that. Could get another puppy cooking. Mm. I think I'm fine doing this. Get the oven mitts going again. Maybe get some porridge for our wasp next turn. Ooh, that's ugly. That is real ugly. Alright. So we ditch you. Grab here, grab here. Oh, well now you can't get it. You hate to see that. Let's roll. Let's full send the flea here. Hold on to the puppy for later. Get the swan level with a turtle, that's pretty solid. Okay, so we'll refresh our oven mitts next turn. I think our order is all messed up here. It should be like that. going chicken <laughs> going chicken scaling out here maybe we could try it I'm gonna like this maybe we drop the dodo I really like the turtle here the wasp was a little late but I guess it's still worthwhile Okay, that's solid. And we draw? Okay. With the right pivot here, I think we're in a good spot. We just gotta hit it. Bird of Paradise is very interesting. I guess if we're running chicken build, <laughs> you know, are we committing to chicken build or no? We kinda have to decide right here. Let's try it. We haven't really tried it that much. Or at all, for that matter. Gotta give it a go, you know? Looking good. Big wasp hanging in there. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Keep the wasp cooking. We gotta get turtles out here. Could also run a manticore. Maybe that's the play. You know, ditch the chicken. He's not really doing that much. Try to go manticore into like a phoenix or something. White tiger works very well with that build. Yeesh. A little ugly. Okay, tell you what. No, let's roll. 
I'm gonna try to make use of this alpaca here. Which I guess we could still do with the armadillo. Save us three gold kind of idea. Then we go here. It's turning into a very strange team. <laughs> very, very strange. We gotta get the flea cooking. That's for sure. They've taken a lot of damage from this flea though. Manticore is kind of solid. Okay. So really we kind of want like a full summon team if possible. So this weekly is not very well suited for that. Okay, we go here. There's our phoenix if we want it. Okay, somehow we're alive. I'm not sure how. Okay, I don't love this. I think the flea kind of sucks. We need a, a better team for it. I think we pivot into this Phoenix setup here. I think that's the way that we win. Um, I think we can do this. Okay, actually. Hold on to you. This is a little ridiculous, but I think it's the way to do it. they all take a boatload of damage and then we draw <laughs> huh okay not quite what I was picturing but sure maybe we run it like this and then try to get our manticore high enough health that he won't instantly die Now the wasp seems a little weird, but I guess he's just tanking in the back. Oh dude, this guy's running the build. He's running the dream build out here. Okay. It seems like a draw build somehow, and it really shouldn't draw that well, but it does. <laughs> this has gone off the rails. I think it's officially off the rails here. Come on, mushroom me. What the heck? That's not a mushroom. Okay, so we get the overrides. Okay, maybe there's something to this. I don't know. <laughs> Very well might not be, but it's interesting. You can't deny that. There's our mushroom. Our two mushrooms. And we eventually probably want a manticore. Like, just a natural level 3 manticore. <laughs> this is insane. What the heck is going on right now? <laughs> Alright. Hold on. 
Can these stack? Probably, right? Like, if we just get a level 3 white tiger and stack all these homies, does that work? Alright, well this is the real test. How do they handle these guys? Okay, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it's working? This has no business working this well. Roll me. Hold on to you. Okay, we didn't find it. Let's roll. Okay. I'm committing on this white tiger play. I don't know if it's the better play, but I like it. It's the fun one. And sometimes, that's what matters. Yeah, let's go. Nuke the bear, I love it. That's right. I'm, I'm curious why Chupacabra went off there. That's a little weird to me. It dies to crisp and then triggers its own knockout. A little strange, but okay. You do you. Alright. Now we need to get you to level 3. And then you to level 2. And then I think we're basically set. Yeah, nice try on that scorpion there, bucko. <laughs> okay. This is actually ridiculous. Everyone's getting nuked. I'm annoyed that the bear didn't get hit by any of those <laughs> those crisps. If he got hit by a single one of them, we would have won that. That's very upsetting. Alright, run it back. We can't end on that one. Come on. <laughs> we gotta get it full send. Okay, we're just going something weird here. Some warmish gibbons. Again, I don't know why people keep doing this. You can't put your Tamarin in the way back. He's not gonna trigger. Come on. Here, we'll show him. We'll show him how to do the Tamarin thing. Okay. What do we got here? Horrid. Absolutely horrid. Um, sea turtle is also garbage. Maybe not too garbage. Hmm. We'll be running like this. I don't love any of this, but I think it might be okay ish. you throwing a drop bear I mean sure I'm down I don't like any of these homies anyways on level one and two all right we're getting in there give me a solid level up please Honestly, not bad. Ditch you. Let's go here. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Sea turtle's got to go, right? Throw in a drop bear, maybe. Stack the ox. Pretty much just for attack. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we get the draw. I'm wondering if we want to have it a little different here. Have like you in the front or something and then you're guaranteed to hit the ox. That feels like it might be good. But we could also capybara. 
Maybe we just do that. Get a solid capybara pivot. Mm, we could puppy here. Maybe that's worth it. Throw a puppy in the mix. Roll me once. Okay. I don't mind this actually. Good, good. And we're cooking. Love it. Double ox strat. That's where it's at. <laughs> Combine you for the level. Early chicken. I'd be remiss if I didn't go for an early chicken strat. Help him out a little with some canned food. Ooh, and a blowfish. You know what? Maybe we do it like... No, because the, the cappy actually pairs very well with the chicken. Maybe we do it like this. I like this way. Perfect. The ox gets it done. Ox is doing very good work for us. I'm thoroughly appreciative. Okay, so we're actually gonna ditch you now. Run a manatee behind the ox. Really just to hold over while we get some more chickens going. Um, right up. I'll do this for a second. <laughs> It's probably a bad idea, but um, we don't need to freeze. We're looking for more chickens. I mean, the chicken is basically just doing nothing anyways. Well, we didn't get to do it anyways. Very rude. Okay, level mate. Definitely an alpaca angle. Maybe a phoenix angle as well. So phoenix should go before the ox and it'll... The ox should overwrite the phoenix crisp. I don't know if that's actually how it'll work, but I think that's how it should work. For what that's worth. Mmm, chocolate. Roll me. Let's get you. White tiger's great. White tiger in front of the chicken could actually be very good. As a little temporary help out. White tiger feels very good, by the way. Okay. Speaking of very good, this team is feeling very good. Um, maybe we ditch you. Throw a white tiger in the mix. Sure. And then a manticore. Sure, sure. We may be pivoting off of the chicken here. I'm, I'm anticipating a pivot. Based on what we have found so far. Oh, no shot he wins by one health. What the heck? That's where we need our manticore. Okay. Yeah, it's time to pivot. Ooh, hello. It's moving. Okay, we go here. We go... We have enough health. I think we do this. And then we can go... Probably sell you, throw in a manticore. Start getting you cooking a little bit. Hmm, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> I guess we run it like this, right? Kind of a weird setup, but that's fine.
It's really nice that it's only the enemy status effects that are made worse. <laughs> if it was ours, we'd be so screwed. Alright, go here. Ditch you. Alright, this is looking... Oh, baby. This is looking so good. And there's our other phoenix. I mean, yeah, this is just as good as it gets. <laughs> I respect it. I do. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not going to cut it. But, you know, kudos. And could this have gone any easier? Honest question. <laughs> like, this is just free. Okay, so is it better to combine you and throw in a second phoenix? Probably, I think. I'm gonna like this. And now we're just looking for the manticore. I don't even think we're gonna need it though at this rate. <laughs> yeah, dude, this guy's done so. Half his team lost to just our homie there, our white tiger up front. Insane. The sheer power <laughs> built into this team is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, that was a fun one. Hope you enjoy this combo. If you want wins and you want them fast once you hit turn six, tier six, <laughs> this is the one. This is really fun. I'd check it out. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.